Okay, so the first thing I want to start off with uh, today's practice is I've drawn up some stuff, but I want to ask you guys, what are you guys hoping to get out of this team and playing here? Gabriel. I want to learn better or like, <laughs> uh, I don't know, a base is a volleyball. Like. So you want to get a better foundation yeah. of playing volleyball. Okay. How about you say, can come in here? So you want to get right better at the full game. How about yourself? Guys, stop reading the thing, please. Oh, wow. I Hitting. Okay. Tina, can you see them? Can you step back? Come in here, Lovelace. What do you want to get better at, Lovelace? Blocking, eh? Yeah? Okay. Um, what do you get better at? Passing and hitting at the other point? Oh. Yes. Okay. I want to progress or get better at as an all-around player. Okay. Almost. Okay. Well, you know, the interesting thing is I've got goals for you guys. Obviously, I'm going to help you guys become better at the whole but, but I want to try and set up some additional goals for you, like beyond just playing volleyball. And I think the biggest thing that I want to try and teach you guys is how to learn. Okay? How to become lifelong learners. Does that make sense? And I think the biggest thing that I'm hearing with you guys is you guys are all like, I want to do this and this. But if we can learn how to learn, the speed that you guys are going to improve all your skills is going to go up dramatically. Does that make sense? So the first thing I want to focus on is learning. There's this other thing that I want to focus on. Have you guys ever heard of the saying called Kaizen? Kaizen, okay, it's a famous Japanese saying. And basically what it means is constant, never-ending improvement. So every single day, I want us to try and have this philosophy of Kaizen, constant, never-ending improvement, and how are we improving as a team? Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, I also want to have some core values of us as a team. Now, Kerry hasn't done this with you guys, okay? But one, there's some stuff I want to work on our guiding principles as a team. Number one, hard work and practice. So I feel like you guys are starting to train hard. You guys feel like you guys are doing that? Yeah. Okay. A winning attitude. So every single time you guys do a drill, I want our goal to be to win that drill. Does that make sense? So we're always competing against the other people in the job. Does that make sense? Okay. And obviously our third thing is caring about us as a team. Pretty simple. Okay. So uh, I also want to set up some rules for practice. Okay. First thing is I noticed when you guys are sitting there is in the huddle, you guys are all talking and you guys were not close like this. So what I want is us always in our huddle to be at least this or closer talking. Does that make sense? So uh, yesterday when you were sitting on the ground stretching, not in my huddle. John, when you started talking, when uh, Brian was talking, not in my huddle. Does that make sense? The huddle is a special space for us all to gather okay, and learn. Does that make sense? What are you laughing at? Say it. Okay. Guys, this is an opportunity. You guys are sitting here and you guys can get really good quickly. If you guys don't... Okay, Sam. You want to leave? Okay. Just tell me. I'll be happy to. Okay. Guys, this is an opportunity for you guys to get better. Okay? And you guys are not good right now. Okay? You guys are playing in a small pond. You guys think you're good. You guys are not good at volleyball. There's an opportunity to get much, much better quicker. And I can show you guys that, but you guys have to take responsibility of learning for yourself. Does that make sense? Okay, quickly, I want to show you guys something. So, when you learn, there's basically this learning chart of effective learning, okay? And basically, it's like doing a skill or something in life, you do either do it ineffectively or you do it effectively. Does that make sense? And when you do it, there's basically four stages of learning. Firstly, you're unaware that you don't know the skill, okay? So for example, some of you just don't know what you don't know. Does that make sense? So you don't know how to block because you've never been taught what is the correct, correct technique. Does that make sense? 
once you understand that, now you're aware of what you have to do and improve. Okay, so my very first goal with all of you is just to make you aware of what you're doing. Does that make sense? Okay, then your next step is you're conscious, you're able to do it, but you're doing it consciously. Does that make sense? So you have to concentrate, but you can do something, but it's conscious. And then the fourth stage is you do it naturally. You do it unconsciously, you just go in and do it. Does that make sense? So we got to be focused on each one of those steps when we're going in and learning something. Does that make sense? Okay. So we got our practice today. Um, simple, we went over the main game, we went over our core values. If you guys can, I'd like you guys to keep all of this. We're going to be building on this. For example, we've also got some core values here at the end. One of our new concepts as a team. And Kerry's going to be adding to this as a team. Four out of five. What does that mean to you guys? 80%. 80%. But four out of five what? Serves. So going forward from now on, Kerry, they're going to make how many out of five serves? Four. Four, four out of five. So if you've missed two serves, you're going to make the rest the next one. Hey, if you miss one serve, you're going to make your next four. Does that make sense? Okay. Also, what's the worst thing you can do in volleyball? Serve into the net. Sir, Mr. Sir, what's the second worst thing? Lollipop serve. Okay, so these are our concepts that we're going to develop as a team. And Kerry's going to add to these. And you guys are going to learn these as a team. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, point of the day. Everyone know Galileo? Pretty smart guy. He said simple thing. All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The truth is, the, the point is to discover them. Does that make sense? Yeah. So half the problem with you guys now is, you guys don't know what you don't know. But we have to create an environment where I can quickly, rapidly teach you that stuff, where you guys are not messing around, we can, that I can get you there. Now you guys can get through these stages. Does that make sense? Because now once you know that you're conscious of what you don't know, you can focus on it, then you can consciously do it, and then you can become unconscious. Does that all make sense to you? Yes? Okay. So we're going to start off with a very, very simple drill. We're going to start off with some passing, and we're going to do this drill basically every single day almost. Okay? It's called a 90 pass drill. Okay? Uh, Gabriel, will you be my example? We're going to do it with me, okay? 